Alright, what's good you two? It's your boy SM TD Drizzy here. And uh due to the fact that yesterday was 2K Day, um I just wanted to talk about what my favorite 2Ks were. Now, I kinda I kinda have mixed opinions. Alright, so what was it? Was it 2K13? I think it was 13. I'm not playing against him. Uh, dang it. I can't read over here. Uh, in 2K, no, 2K, it was 2K11. In 2K11, I made a six foot guard, point guard. And you know, back then it didn't really matter because it wasn't really online modes, right? But after my first season with the Trailblazers, he uh, hit a growth spurt out of nowhere and became 6'7". And, oh my gosh, that was the most fun I ever had on 2K, ever. My man was dominating everybody. It was, it was so much fun. And, and his nickname was Big Dog at the time. So that's why I, all my, my players have the nickname Big Dog because of Big Dog from 2K11. And then... Uh, the next 2K I played, I didn't play 2K12. I skipped 2K12. Uh, what about 2K? 2K13, I played not that much. But 2K14, last, uh, last gen. Not, not, uh, not next gen. I did not play it on next gen. Uh, I didn't play it on the Xbox One. I played it on the 360. Um, I played the everlasting crap out of that, but that, after taking such a long break, I was trash at 2K, but I was kind of playing, and I was like, you know what, what if I changed everyone's height to 5'7", and changed their overalls to 25, which is the lowest you can go in 2K, right, so I did that, I made an entire league where everyone was 5'7", and a 25 overall. And it was hilarious because you would go up against LeBron and LeBron wouldn't even try to dunk. He would shoot layups and it was freaking, oh my God, it was so much fun. That one was fun too. Um, 15, I played a lot of. I had a seven foot three demigod like everyone else. Um, 16, I didn't play as much. I played a crap ton of my team though in 16. I did. I played a crap ton. I had, I had a bunch of good cards in that. I had a bunch of really good cards. That's what I that's what I really came back to 2K4 was my team and then I would just play my part on the side on the download cuz like I love my team not no more but I did love my team a lot more than I love Park. But uh after that we went on to after that after that is 17. Now 17 I that was my game. 17 I got a good story about 17. 17 I made a I made a 5-7 playmaker because at that time I was I was pretty short. I was going I was going to make him the shortest height cuz I wanted him to be like me. So when I did that um of course no one expected him to be good, but I was pretty good with him. Like I could do the the cheesy dribble moves, you know, the between the legs spam, the uh I couldn't do momentum spin. My hands just not not was not big enough to do momentum spin, but I still can't do momentum spin. But I could do momentum behind the back, hop step, momentum behind the back, and I could momentum spam too. Uh, so it was, pretty, it was pretty nice. But the day that the animation glitch came out, I said, I don't play with this guy anymore. I had made a slasher, and I had made a 6-2 sharp. So I was like, I don't play with this guy anymore. So let me put contact dunks on him for my career, right? So that's what I did. I put I bought car, contact dunks, did the animation glitch, and I of course bought out my career because he would literally dunk on anyone. Because I'm I'm thinking it be, it was because his dunk rating was so low that 2K just kind of bailed him out and forced him to do contact dunks. That player was scary to go up against. Not gonna lie, if you was a center, you was getting postered. But it was hilarious. It was it was pretty dang funny. Um, but 
Let's see. I I I made a six two sharp. I made a a six five slasher that could dribble, and then a six ten slasher that couldn't dribble. I also made a center. I don't remember what center it was probably glass. Um, I was never happy with any of my builds. None of them could shoot. Now eighteen, I made a slashing playmaker, and that was my only build. And then I and then later on in the year I made a I made a shot creating slasher, but I never got him past seventy overall. Now, I was pretty happy with all my builds. I I honestly, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. I never really noticed that two K eighteen was a bad game until two K nineteen came out. Nothing about it was really that op to, for me at least. But that was the year I played against my friends a lot. So when we was getting blow buys, we wasn't getting up uh, as upset as someone who's playing against random people. So I get why the game was bad. But then 2K19 came out. I was switched over to PS4 to play that game. I did not like 2K19, not even in the, the slightest bit. I played more. I played a lot of my team in 2K19, but I did not play no my part. I really didn't like 2K19. Now, it might have been because I didn't have as much friends on PS4 to play with, so I was always playing by myself. Like, the first couple weeks, I had people to play with, but then they just stopped playing 2K. So then I stopped playing 2K. And then I came back to play my team. But, you know, it was kind of washed. But then 2K20 came out, which I'm forever going to call it 2K19.5, but, like, if I ever make it, put it in the title, it's going to be 2K20. But just know, whenever I talk about it, I'm going to say 2K19.5, because that's basically what this game is. But it's more fun than 2K19 than 2K uh, 19 was, in my opinion. Like, I feel as though it's a lot more fun. Like, a lot more fun. Like, no question more. But that's just my opinion. A lot of people like 2K19. I really didn't. But I made a slashing playmaker in that game. I made a pure playmaker in, in 19. And I made a slashing playmaker in this game as well. I already showed y'all my build for this game. Uh, I had an all pink diamond team. Well, not pink diamond. Not all pink diamond team. But mostly pink diamond and diamond team. But then after that last video that I recorded, I played a little bit more and got more pink diamonds and a couple more opals. So I kind of had a nice looking squad, but I don't know if I'm going to play my team this year. I'm going to try it out for a little bit, and then I don't know if I'm going to continue playing. But I'm definitely going to try it out. Um, hmm. in, 2K, in 2K20 so far... The only thing I ha I've had an issue with is, did they uh, like I'm trying to figure out if they got rid of the momentum because like I swear I'm doing the inputs right unless they change the inputs, which would really make me kind of mad. But I don't feel like I don't feel like the dribbling's really clunky. At least it kind of feels kind of smooth to me. I don't know if I'm a slasher, so it feels pretty good. Because it feels like everything combos well. Like, I can go straight from dribbling into a dunk and it not feel very slow like it normally does. Like, normally normally dunks don't look realistic. Like, it looks like, oh, somebody, like, mo-capped this. Like, it doesn't, not look, it doesn't look like my character's actually dunking. Like, it look, just looks like somebody mo-capped it. Which, I, mean, I know somebody did, but at least try to make it look good, I guess. If that's what you want to say. It doesn't, it didn't, it, all the other previous 2Ks, it didn't look as good. Like, the dunks, that's the first thing I question. It, it, does the dunks look realistic? And I can say for a fact in this game, the dunks do look realistic. Now, I don't want to talk too much about other things, because I am doing a speculation Sunday about it. So, I'm basically going to cut the video here. And uh, with that being said, I'm out. Peace out. Tell me, tell me, tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face.
face Tell me that you love me Even if it's 